Hello everyone, this is my first video and I'm going to be talking about how I have almost gotten rid of the evidence of my Montgomery glands. I have looked at every video on YouTube and the only thing that I have seen in ways to get rid of them is the surgery and from the research I've done it ends up basically making you look like you've got a bullseye on your chest. There a big ring around there and it's incredibly self-esteem lowering for some people. Now if you're happy with yours and you don't care, awesome for you. You've got a lot more confidence than me. I however have been dealing with this since I was 15 years old and could not stand it. So before we really get into the video, I would like to say disclaimers and warnings which are very important to listen to. Now after these if you want to just you know do whatever do whatever but it's up to you. I am not legally saying that you should do this or that you have to. I am merely saying what worked for me. Um, warnings do not use this if you are breastfeeding or pregnant or plan to become pregnant. So, um, yeah, there's, that's about the only thing I can say. Um, so Montgomery glands are a perfectly natural thing and it happens to a lot of women. Now, I don't know the exact percentage, but at least half of the population, I'm guessing. And because I've seen so many responses to this, or not responses, so many questions on videos about Montgomery glands slash tubercles, tubercles and how to get rid of them. Now, I am not a doctor, not a doctor, and I'm not telling you you should do this. I'm only saying what worked for me. But when I was 15 years old in school, I had gotten my first one, Montgomery gland, and I thought I was mutating and getting a third you-know-what. I was terrified, and I have so many other medical issues, MS being one of them, and a lot of things come with MS, but that's not what we're talking about today. But one of the things that has to do with MS and Montgomery tubercles is sweat. And hormonal changes in biology. So a lot of people with MS get night sweats and when kids the age of I guess 13, 14, 15 are going through their changes, hormonal changes, if they're exacerbated they could get the tubercles like I did and you know, a lot of people don't know what they think they're acne, and they are caused similarly to acne, clogged pores, sweating, and sort of grease. And that's, I mean, that's what causes acne, and that's also some of the causes for Montgomery tubercles slash glands. Again, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know everything about this, but I have done my research, and from what I gathered, just, or from my personal research, just treating it like a pimple kind of works. Now, you do not want to scratch these, and you do not want to, like, pick at them. I recently saw a comment about someone whose wife had done this, and it just made the thing bigger and scabby. He was terrified, and even though it was awkward, I felt like I had the need to tell them what worked for me like what I'm doing now and I feel like with corona going down right now I mean I mean he was worried sick that she was going to have the surgery to remove it and that's why I felt the need to butt in even though it really wasn't my business I mean cuz everyone's afraid of this thing everyone's scared they're going to get sick so anyway um when I was 15, I started treating it like a pimple and used a clay mask. Now, do not 
if you decide to do this of your own free will, put the clay mask on the tip of that area that you're trying to get rid of the Montgomery glands from because it's really hard to get off. Now where the Montgomery glands are specifically around the outer ring, it's fine. It's easy to wipe off, but the rest of it is really hard to get off and kind of hurts. <laughs> so you probably should not do that if you decide to try this method. The second method I tried several years later after I just gave up because while well, the clay mask sort of worked, it didn't exactly work long term. They just got bigger after a week. Well, they shrunk first and then they got back to their original size after a week. And two years later I thought or I found a soap called African Black Soap. Now that soap moisturizes and dries out my skin. I can't comment on your skin because I don't know you. I don't know your skin. So it moisturized and dried my skin at the same time and it made them shrink. Again, this was only week long term situation. So finally another few years and it hit me on the side of my head like a brick. Um, I had gotten an acne medication that was supposed to be really good and it worked. I mean my acne on my face was breaking out so bad that I ended up having to get had have the ha, 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 having to get this medication and it ended up working and I am not sponsored by African Black or the clay mask companies or this next people I'm going to say. And it suddenly hit me after having it for a few years because I only put it on the pimples. Instead of my whole face, I made it last very a lot longer and, you know, my skin looked really good. Um, it suddenly hit me. I was like, well, if regular soap and clay masks can work for the face, why can't, and they can work for the tubercles a little bit, why can't this stuff? I mean, since it's caused by similar things that acne is caused by, such as biological changes, hormonal changes, and sweating, and clogged pores. That's what acne is caused by. That is what happens with Montgomery glands slash tubercles. Now, I don't know if there's a difference between tubercles and glands. I'm just going with what worked for me. So finally, what worked for me was Proactive MD. Now, there are other websites that you can buy this from that are cheaper than the actual website. I'm not going to say which, but I'm sure y'all could find it if you looked. Um, so I saw an overnight change in mine. And I had had these since I was 15. Now, I'm not telling you how old I am now, but I am several years older. And I've only been doing this for like two weeks. And it's been going away. Um, so, do not do this if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Um, stop doing this if you become pregnant and I guess stay safe stay well if you feel like you should try this that is up to you I'm only saying what worked for me I hope y'all have a nice day and stay safe I might release some more videos if this gets enough likes because I've done a lot of things that most people wouldn't do simply because I think differently than most people and um I've gotten rid of a lot of problems that are skin related due to MS and, you know, other reasons. So, bye bye.